Welcome back guys, Nuts and Bolts Garage. It's a beautiful evening. We're gonna give you a look over a little one-two of the Ford Fusion. It's a 2010. Nice little black paint. It's got a couple scuffs here and there. Bumper's a little loose. No biggie, we'll fix that. This grill's busted down there. Let's see if we can find one that pick and pull. Some scratches. Are we looking on the inside? So clean inside. Woo! Get in, sit down, shut up, and hang on. Yep, exactly. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. Uh, that's what we'll be saying once we get her fixed. So, man, that is pretty. It needs going to need a little cleaning right here. There looks like somebody spilled some. A little bit of pop or something right there. Hey, so we're gonna show them the surprise, get right to the good stuff. Sunroof. <laughs> Is that what we're about to do, Jack? Yeah. So the bid, we got the bid on this car for 700 bucks. Show them the magic. Pop that, dude. All right. You guys see what's missing here? See this big empty hole? And what's that right yellow here? thing peeking out? You see that? You see that? That is a motor mount. <laughs> <laughs> Bet y'all didn't know that, did you? So we got a uh, piece of rope tied around, tied through, <laughs> tied around the motor. <laughs> yeah, it comes up to around this motor mount. So this engine is being held up by a yellow rope. I like it pretty sweet that's some Jim, jimmy rigging right there man <laughs> their daddy's name is jerry some jimmy jerry rigging right there we have a whole car you're about to see our parts car so we weren't really concerned what was going on with this car um but it's a donation 119,000 miles it's got some stuff like this I don't know what the heck is going on there. Both sides are like that. Hood's bent a little bit. We're going to probably have to maybe replace replace those hinges, those hood hinges. So, yeah. I'm digging it. I'm, I'm excited. Let's get to it. Out. Now we're empty. Empty engine bay. Thank you, parts car. Now we're just after that bad that bad boy right there. Alright guys, we got our jump box hooked on to this thing. We're gonna see if we can pop this trunk and see if we got anything back here. Okay, we're good. Come on, give us some give us some gold. We need a battery and a few other things. Woo! Woo! CV axles. Battery. 19 on the battery. Nice. Nice. Little face in the tranny here. Seeing that? Yeah, it looks like it's upside been down. Placed. Upside down. Uh, 2010 Ford Fusion. So interesting, man. Got the starter and everything. So starter, CV axles. Now it's got it all. box. Sweet. Well, look at this. They even. Oh, yeah. They even. this out. They even. Starter. wonder why they didn't put no it back together. Stop. All the bolts are over there in the baggie. Why didn't they put it back together? That is the question. That's weird. Um, hey, this is, a, this is a first for us. I don't think we chance it. I don't think we chance it. I say I think we just send that to the scrapyard. 
good news. It's good. It's great good news. news. I didn't know if we would have anything in the trunk, so she's got some junk in the trunk. <laughs> All right, thank you for the lift, Jack. That was a tight, tight squeeze, guys. Got it in there. I had to set you down for a minute so I could use uh use both of my uh steady hands, but yeah, it was a tight squeeze getting it right past right in. Now we still gotta jimmy it a little to get her on the lift, but I like it man. First time we've had two fusions side by side in the shop, so I'm getting it in here with that flat tire. Yeah, and the flat tire did not did not help the situation. <laughs> Where's that at? Yep. So we're gonna get new tires and possibly, possibly slap these rims, these wheels here on there, but we're gonna just make the best car we can out of, out of the two. So ready to get that rope off of there? <laughs> yeah. Man. Yo, Jack, what you working on there, man? You know, just trying to replace this yellow transmission for a real transmission. <laughs> we we don't want to, you know, we're not in the stone ages. We don't want to Flintstone this thing around. <laughs> we want to be able to actually. You need some, uh, you need a knife? I think so. Oh, they ran it through bolts down there even. They ran it through the bolts on the engine. The the bolt holes. Nice. This is how you support the engine. That that thing's come in clutch many times. I have to replace this mount shot. Ew. I think we have one off the other car. Yep. <laughs> Yo, Jack, what you building there, man? Just uh, replacing this yellow rope. <laughs> That's... Put, I think we should put a real transmission in, in spot, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. I'm I'm digging the I'm digging their uh, their ways of fixing things, man. It's beautiful. It worked. So through the the bolt holes. Around I mean, they had this the thing. Pan. They had that thing. Jimmy, man, I like it. I mean, I towed this thing from what, 300 miles or something like that. Yeah. It, it stayed right there. Didn't didn't uh, <laughs> hurt the rope at all. <laughs> That's a quality rope, man. We got to save that. I know. Well, I'm taking my time to take this thing apart. <laughs> and this is our um, this was our trunk full of parts. So this is what we have to pick through and we're gonna get right to work and see if we can swap this thing. Here's the donor car engine tranny already pulled here. So we're gonna get right to it and get this baby swapped. Already took the torque converter uh, nuts off. Got a few bell housing bolts. And this thing's out of here. Alright. That's a uh, transmission mount replaced. And uh, this is the one that was in the car. A little broken. Not supposed to be able to pull that out. <laughs> we took our old, old one out of that one. And it seemed uh, pretty dang good. Go out with the old, in with the old. No, the old, in with the old. The donor car's got 144 on it, mileage. So, should be good to go. Right, baby J? Yeah. Oh yeah. About ready to put it in. Uno dos trees. Oi! Ooh. Heavy girl. She beefy. Got some beef.
Get the first bolt lined up and started right there. And one more, and we'll close that gap. It's almost lined up perfect. That's how it's done. Nice and tight. This one's going in Uno más. One more. Right there. Right there. Putting the last torque converter nut back on. And then. Getting close, man. Still got to put. Still got to put a piece of this all back together. Yeah. There's most of that on the ground. It hasn't been bad yet. But no, it's been smooth and easy, so just like we were hoping. transmission in her in a while that's uh you can drop the jack might be a little better than that yellow rope might be. this is our find from yesterday at the pick and pole we've got we got four wheel aluminum right there i don't know if you can see that but it says 8680 plus tax so those are for just uh four used but new tires to us Pretty good tread, so 8680, and then we had to spend a, uh, the core charge for these these awesome uh, wheels. But we got to go take those back right now, and we'll get our 50 bucks back. So comes out to what 93 bucks for the four new new tires. Yeah, and they're like brand new. Just got back with the new hinges from the pick and pull. We're gonna throw a quick quick coat on them and. Call it good. Get ourselves a straight hood. The question is. Then a few tires. Oh yeah, swapping the tires. Is it gonna start? Yeah, yeah, but that's Maybe. the question. Is it gonna start? <laughs> Hopefully. Usually, the cars we deal with. They run already. They've already, we already know they, they start, so. This is the big mystery. Hang tight and, and find, we'll out with us. find out what happens. Well guys, you've waited long enough. 
We are excited. Baby J is in the driver's seat. Everything's put back together. We have no clue what's about to happen, but hopefully we got a good motor and a good tranny. Let it rip, baby J. Ready? Ready. Woo! There we go. Ha ha! Got it. Connect one more hose. Nice warm pad. Look what we woke up to. Four inches of snow. Pretty sweet. It's beautiful. Not very beautiful to sell any cars in. <laughs> Don't think we're going to be getting too much action today. Yay. We still might. We'll We're see. gonna. So, what do we have left on the fusion? You need to put the some hinges. more tranny fluid in it. We got to put the hinges on. Hinges back in there. Get the hood back on. We probably need to mess with the corners that are bent down a little bit on it. But those hinges should be nice and dry now. Oh yeah, good to, go. good to go. All right, we got the hood back on. It's fitting up nice. We do have a little bit of damage here, as you guys saw before, but it's up flush. The hood was down like a half an inch before. So now it's sitting pretty. Everything's lining up nice. Okay, folks, my favorite part of the day, test driving. So the Fusion, is ready to go so we're gonna give it a quick run hope for the best good news is she's moving gotta weasel our way out of here yeah. past the old transmissions hold up pull this back all right okay, good. Looks good though, man. And we're off. There's another tractor like always. Back in the shop from the test drive on the Fusion, we've got, there was a little whine or a little squeal, so we have the parts. So we're just gonna change the alternator and a couple pulleys and, and go from there. But this thing's almost ready to go. Um, yeah, I hear a little clunking from the alternator area. So we're just gonna swap them. Swap the tensioner and a couple of idlers. So I think I found the problem to so this tensioner. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but here's the one off our parts engine. Can't hear nothing. So we're gonna throw it in there, throw a belt on it and see what happens. Okay, sounds much quieter now. We're gonna, you could mostly hear it. Well, you could hear it at idle before, right? Yeah. You, it was like a little clicking. Yep. And then when you test drove it, it was like a super loud whine. So I think it's fixed. I don't hear anything anymore. It's way quieter. Good. So we're gonna roll with that. Okay, so during my test drive into town, um, when you'd get on it from like a stop sign, you could hear like a bad vibration from the engine from the underneath the hood. And this is what I found. This motor mount is completely shot. So you can see it was rubbing right there, metal on metal onto this housing. It's not supposed to, not supposed to look dingle, like dingle the dangle there. It's nope. not supposed to jiggle. Nope. That one doesn't budge at all. This one is uh, in there, solid. Bingo. We about died. 
we about died with the price here because we had to buy a new one. Because all the ones we went around to our favorite spots at were all no good like that one. So we had to drop like eighty two fifty on this thing. Every now and again, you got to spend. Oh the, man, got to spend the big bucks. Oh man. Oh,